Today we're hilling our fall potatoes coming up next. Hi everybody, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. My name is Sarah from Living Traditions Homestead. And if you've been watching our videos, about six weeks ago, we planted our fall potatoes. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put a potato in the row all the way down, and then we're just gonna cover it all up at once. So we're gonna plant all of these um, and give them one nice level of dirt. And we planted them in this garden, and uh, we've been very hopeful that they're gonna do well. Well, you can probably see from behind me that they're doing really well, however, we probably should have hilled them twice already, but things have just been super busy around the homestead. Um, and so we're just going to cross our fingers, hill them today, and uh, see what comes of it. Uh, so these guys were planted in these, um, in these troughs or, you know, whatever you would call these. We planted them down deep and we hilled the uh, dirt up uh, next to it. So. Right now we're going to be we're going to be taking all of that dirt and covering up the plant as high as we can with the dirt that's left and hopefully that will um, encourage the potatoes to not just be down at the bottom where the roots are but also form all in that dirt up almost until the top of the dirt. Uh, so we're going to get started on that today and hopefully there's enough time before the first frost for those potatoes to form underneath the ground and we can dig them up and put them in the root cellar for winter. So let's get started. We have lots of work to do. Okay, so you can see how tall these plants have gotten. And when we dug these originally, we dug these uh, trenches here and we put the, um, the seed potatoes down in there and we just covered it up with a few inches of dirt. What we should have done is like three weeks ago, we should have taken some of this dirt and, and uh, covered it up to about, you know, halfway, about right here. And then now we're gonna take all of the dirt, since we're a little bit behind schedule, we're gonna take all of the dirt and cover up as tall as we can get, hopefully with the edge of our uh, raised bed garden right here, this log, hopefully we can cover it up. And what that will do is it will encourage the plant to grow potatoes underneath the soil above where I actually planted the seed potatoes. So not only will we get potatoes down uh, at the very bottom here, uh, we'll also get potatoes hopefully um, up to the top of the dirt here. So I'm gonna get started pulling some of this dirt from back here on these ridges uh, into the trench here and cover up these plants. Okay, so it didn't take us very long, but it was a lot of physical work. Uh, we're all done, everything's healed as much as they can be. We've used up as much of the soil as we had available and they're all healed as high as they can. Now this spring when we planted tomatoes, or when we planted potatoes, uh, we were in a raised bed garden just a little bit smaller than this, and we raised uh, 55 pounds of uh, potatoes. They went into our storm shelter, uh, root cellar storm shelter combination, and we've been eating on them all summer long. They did a fantastic job down there. We're all done, and the end result is 55 pounds of homegrown potatoes. 55 pounds. We are so excited. One little uh, paper lunch bag full of seed potatoes turned into 55 pounds of potatoes. Uh, we are uh, raising Yukon Golds. That's what we did this spring. That's what we're doing this fall. Now we've talked to some locals in the area about doing fall potatoes and it really does not seem like many people are doing fall potatoes. But we really think that there is time and we're gonna give it a shot because it just makes a whole lot more sense to us to have potatoes coming out of the ground in the fall to put into our root cellar for over the winter. So we're giving it a shot. So far, so good. They're doing a great job. And hopefully before the first big frost, we'll have a lot of potatoes in the ground to dig up and we'll bring you along uh, on that journey as well. So you guys, I hope you stick around for next time when we dig all of these up and show you how many fall potatoes we've raised. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, we love to have those in the comment section. 
But most importantly, if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Until next time, you guys take care and God bless.